from phillygatecalendar.com. We're here with the director and star of Pornography. How did you guys think the movie went so far? Oh, I mean, it's been great. I mean, this is the fourth uh, screening. It's, been, it's played twice in uh, New York, once at Frameline in San Francisco, and this is the first of two Philly uh, dates, and I thought I thought it went great. I mean, it was the, the crowd was really into it, and it's very creepy. Like, got all these people coming up to us and saying how creeped out they were at the end, so there's nothing better than that. And you are a Philly local. You, were, you worked at TLA, I and was. then you became now you're a big, famous movie st uh, producer, yeah, director. I so, Big, I wish I were a big famous movie director. <laughs> How did you go from TLA to movie director? Um, well, I, I worked at TLA in Chestnut Hill um, when I was in high school and my freshman year of college. I went to NYU, and then I just stayed in NY, uh, in New York, and um, I opened my own company there that did a lot of like marketing stuff and promo stuff. And, and my partner and I moved to uh, LA in 2005, so... It's kind of my, and I had a couple of shorts that went around, uh, a couple of shorts that both, I think they both played at Philadelphia uh, at one point or another. Um, so, you know, it's, this is just kind of the natural progression, the first feature, so. So you live in LA now? Yes. Yeah, so we why'd you pick New York over Philadelphia to film this movie? Oh, we didn't. We didn't film in New York. Oh, okay. No, no, no. We, <laughs> fi we filmed in Los Angeles, actually, almost all of it. We, we shot a bunch of um, exteriors and a couple of pickup shots in New York, but mostly, almost all of it was shot in Los Angeles. Yeah. You fell for it. <laughs> yes. You fell for it. A lot of people do. We did a good job. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's a very complicated movie. How long did it take you from concept to actually like ready to film? Dude, uh, well, I mean, you know, the first draft was written very quickly uh, because I just wanted to like get it all out on paper and not think about it, not judge it, not try to analyze it. And out of that first draft, I think about 70% of it remained in the movie. And then the other 30% took, I don't know, a few months to go over and over and over and then it took a few months to like you know get everything together cast it you know get the locations and we shot it in uh, under 20 days so that was a big it was a really amazing team we had so yeah so I mean, as an actor in this movie it was very complicated it was definitely his idea how how difficult was it to kind of portray what he wanted Oh my God, I mean, it was it was really difficult. You know, David and I, I say this all the time to people that we did a lot more talking than we did rehearsing. You know, we just sort of had a lot of conversations and dialogue about the character. And, uh, and you know, I think that in many ways, um, yeah, David sort of knew what kind of an undertaking that this was from an acting perspective, and so he kind of gave it to us in little pieces, which I think helped. And uh, but it was, yeah, I mean, like it was very, it was very daunting, very challenging, but also really wonderful. Like you know, what an incredible experience as an actor to, like you know, deal with something, you know, deal with a, a character in a story that isn't so uh, linear and is so multi-layered as uh, pornography is. Mm -hmm. Do you find a lot of problems when you're taking this movie around that most people are expecting a very one-dimensional, simple movie with naked boys, and then you present this and they're goes way over their head? <laughs> the very first screening, um, we had, at New Fest up in New York, we had this little blurb, and I don't remember what exactly, but it wasn't a, a really big blurb, but it was, it was a fine blurb, but I, I thought in the audience there were a few guys, uh, older guys who just came in, I don't think they read the blurb, so I don't think they were particularly like, you know, uh, prepared to be scared or have a horror movie or have something, you know, creepy like that happen. They came into a movie called Pornography, they're just like, oh, okay, you know, so uh, there were a few there were a couple of guys at the first screening in New York that were just like, you know, why, why did you, you know, uh, they were angry. So, I was, but everybody else seemed to like it. So, I mean, you know, they, they, they went out and then everybody else told me how much they liked it. So it was great. <laughs> Did that symbol have any specific meaning, or you just randomly made that up? Um, you know what? The symbol was kind of came about by me and the production designer. We we were trying to think of how to play on the the the, the concept of three because there are three kind of parts to the movie, and one is like this infinity symbol of like three loops, and then the other one is the three spikes. So we just kind of combined them. But you know, it's it was mostly the production designer. Like I gave him my idea, I gave him the ideas, and that's what he came up with. And I was like, that's groovy, cool. We'll we'll do that. So. And you also have other movies in the film festivals. I do. I um, I have Redwoods playing here that uh, David Lewis um, directed and wrote, and that's playing, I believe, this coming weekend, next weekend. And uh, I also produced uh, Make the Yuletide Gay, which is uh, playing right now, so. which is totally different than this one. <laughs> it's a Christmas, it's a crowd yeah, a Christmas comedy, <laughs> you know, sort of movie. <laughs> yeah, that's the one with cute boys. That that one's the one with cute boys in it. Like, the movie called Pornography is just here to scare the crap out of you. So we'll be here for both of those. So we're excited. So what's in the future? 
Uh, I'm writing a thriller right now, but it's it's uh, it's it's a larger thriller. Um, this one may not be gay oriented, but uh, it kind of deals with layers of reality again. So you know, I'm I'm hoping for that. And uh, I don't know what's up with you. Um, I'm starring in uh, Robert Gaston's new movie called Socially Registered that's uh, shooting this fall. And uh, I'm also working on um, a project that I wrote and will produce and will star in called Stick Figures. And um, that's S T I C K E <laughs> figures.com. But, uh, and yeah, so I'm sort of getting that one going. And so, yeah, that's what's happening. Great. Are they be heading over to Tavern for the party afterwards? Yes, I believe so. Definitely. Yes. Okay, well, then we'll see you then. Thanks a lot. Thank you.